uh, we're going to be talking about masks and masks are very powerful in Photoshop and it'll allow you to really fine tune your edits and look at specific parts of the image uh, that you can edit locally rather than globally. Uh, there's a lot of compositing potential with layer masks as well and we're going to go through just a big overview of what you need to think when you are creating a layer mask. So here I'm purposefully working with an unlocked layer zero over here in my layers panel. You could see that over here and I'm just going to click on the add layer mask icon which is at the bottom of the layers panel. And you can see that the layer mask has been created for this image and what we're seeing here is basically an overlay that can be blocked or that can be revealed. So if I'm looking at this and here I could click on the photograph or I could click on the layer mask in the layer mask uh, icon here and I'm selecting that layer mask I can edit this layer mask so when I'm thinking about layer masks here I'm going to hit the B key to select my brush I'm gonna get a larger brush here It was way too big, so now it's a smaller brush. And I'm going to hit the X key on my keyboard to turn my foreground and my background color. I'm painting with black or white here. And also, you can see at the top, if I hit the zero key, it'll change my opacity to 100%. If I hit seven, it'll change it to 70%. Three, uh, it'll change it to 30%. So these are some really important shortcuts while using layer masks. But all I'm doing here is painting with black. And what's happening is I'm not erasing my image as much as I'm editing my layer mask. Here you can see that the layer mask has changed based on the paint that I'm laying down in black with the brush. So I'm painting and in this layer mask here I'm going to give you a, a good view by holding down the option key and clicking on the layer mask itself. You can see that black conceals and white reveals in layer masking. So wherever I'm painting in black, it's concealing what is happening. It's, it's like it's blocking the information. So depending on the hardness or softness of my brush here, I'm going to the options bar and I'm making that 100%. And you can see the edge here is being manipulated. But if we go back to and hit option click on the layer mask itself, you can see how it affects my image here. The other interesting thing about when you lay down a layer mask itself, here I'm just going to mask off the rest of this image with black. And you can see here that if I double click on the layer mask, it'll bring up the properties panel. The properties panel is right behind this icon here next to the histogram. And I can actually come and click and drag and you can see the feather amount changing. Let me zoom in on that a little bit. You can see the feather amount changing as I'm dragging that slider to the right. So if I look at my layer mask you can see that's what's happening in terms of manipulating the layer mask itself and I'll just option click that again so you can see that this has a lot of potential and we're gonna learn more about layer masks and how we can use them efficiently within our workflow
This is an example so that you can just understand the concepts. Write down in your notes, white reveals and black conceals the effect of a layer mask.